What is the fastest imaging method for a computer? Well, that's a question that I get all the time. Should I image to an E01 or a DD? Should I image to an NTFS drive or an XFAT drive? And my answer to these questions is always, it depends. So in this video, we're going to explore the speed for imaging using different output formats and also how the file system of the destination drive affects the speed. There are a few reasons why one may want to optimize the imaging speed. It could be because you are in the battlefield and the longer you are imaging, the longer you are exposed to danger. Or you only have consent for the device and you are racing the clock before the owner rescinds that consent. Or you have a ton of data and you just need to get through it as quickly as possible. I used to joke that I have some coworkers who get paid overtime and so for them, there is no incentive to maximize the speed. You know, they just get paid for sitting around waiting for things to image. But I didn't have that luxury. So my goal has always been to get things imaged as quickly as possible. What are the factors affecting imaging speed, you may ask? Well, you have different aspects ranging from the hardware and software side. From the hardware level, we have the evidence drive and how fast it can move data. We have the destination drive and also how fast it can move data. We also have the imaging device and the bus speeds of that device. So are you using a computer or dedicated imaging device? These are all factors that affect the speed. And the weakest link is often the bottleneck, right? So for spindle disks, they can get read speeds of about 160 megabytes a second. So if a spindle hard drive is any part of the equation here, then that will be the component that's slowing things down. SSDs with the SATA interface can get read speeds of about 400 megabytes a second. And then SSDs with an NVMe interface can have read speeds of up to maybe 1,000 megabytes a second. So knowing the hardware will help you figure out the bottleneck. The imaging software that you are using will also be a factor as will the options that you choose. Hashing may slow things down, so running without a hash is a consideration. Uh, compression may also slow things down, so choosing to create a DD versus a E01 image is another consideration. But creating a clone is even faster than a DD or E01 because you don't have the file system layer to deal with. So speaking of the file system layer, how about the format of your output drive? NTFS is the old workhorse, but XFAT is more universally compatible with other operating systems other than Windows. So I'm going to do some tests to see if DD is better than E01 and also how the file system affects the speed. I will be using the same hardware and software setup to minimize the variables. So I'm going to be using a ASUS laptop with an internal 256 gig NVMe drive. And then I'm going to be booting the laptop with the Kane 13 forensics distro and then using the Gimager software for imaging. And for the output, the destination drive, I will be using a two terabyte NVMe SSD that is connected through a Thunderbolt 4 cable. The first test is to actually test a clone of the evidence drive. The cloning method is theoretically the fastest as it bypasses the file system layer and the data goes straight to the disk. So as I perform the cloning process without hashing, we can see that the speed is about 428 megabytes a second and stays at that speed pretty much during the entire imaging session. And I'm going to do this cloning process again, but this time I'm going to enable a hash of MD5. And so now the speed starts at around 320 megs a second, but then starts slowing down until the end where it gets to about 280 megabytes a second. And if we use the SHA-1 algorithm, the speed will start at about 230 megs a second, but then drastically slows down to only about 216 megabytes a second. So clearly running a hash will slow things down, and then the algorithm itself will also be a factor of how slow the speed becomes. Now let's do imaging to an NTFS formatted drive. NTFS is known to show better efficiency and use less system resources than XFAT. The drawback to NTFS is that it is not as widely accepted as XFAT. 
right? So in order to use NTFS on a Mac or a, a Linux system, you probably need external drivers, but the default drivers read and write to XFAT just fine. I will start by doing a DD image with no segmentation of the output image and no hash. So as we can see, the imaging speed starts off at around 128 megabytes a second, but then it starts slowing down and ends up at around 93 megabytes a second. Doing a DD with two gigabyte segments and no hashing, we'll get about 90 megabytes a second at the end, so not that much of a difference. Now if we add the hashing of a MD5 to the two gig segment DD imaging process, we'll see that the speed will end up at about 77 megabytes per second on average. So definitely adding hashing slows things down, just like we saw on the clone. And the last imaging session I would do to the NTFS destination drive is to write a E01 image that uses two gigabyte segments and no hashing. And the speed here starts off at 53 megabytes a second and ends up at around 32 megabytes a second after imaging 10% of the drive. I don't see this getting any faster and I don't want to sit around waiting for two hours so I'm going to cut this short and go ahead and kill the process because I think we get the point here that E01 is significantly slower than a DD. Now let's do imaging to an XFAT formatted drive. Uh, XFAT is supposed to be better with larger files and NTFS, especially on external devices. So let's see if this holds true. So the first test is that I'm going to do a DD image with no segmentation and no hash. The speed pretty much stays around 430 megabytes a second. The second test that I'll be doing is going to be a DD image with two gigabyte segments and no hash. And this gets about the same speed of around 430 megabytes a second again. So creating segments or having one large segment does not seem to make any difference. And lastly, let's create a E01 image with two gigabyte segments and no hashing. And this one is, starts off around 66 megabytes a second and then at about the 18th percentile mark, it's about 40 megs a second. So it slows down pretty significantly. So again, E01 seemed to be significantly slower than a DD. So I found that the fastest method for the on-site imaging of a computer in place is to perform a DD with no hashing and then writing out to a XFAT file system. Cloning seems to be very close in speed if you are not getting a hash. If you want to get a hash, which is always a good idea in forensics, then cloning is a faster process than writing out a DD. The drawback for cloning is that you're using the whole drive for one clone as opposed to being able to use that same destination drive to store multiple image files. You will also need to keep track of the imaging logs, which will become extremely important as you will need to provide that along with the clone so that the person processing the image will know how big the source drive was so they can create an image that the forensic software will understand. So when you consider whether or not to run a hash, whether it's an MD5 or SHA-1, it incurs quite a time penalty. So if time is your constraint, don't run any hashing. If you're doing just intelligence gathering, it may not matter, but the forensics folks may have an issue with this method. You can always run the hash of the destination later when you are no longer in a time crunch, but that's one of those discussion topics that I won't get into here. The other consideration of whether you want to create a DD versus an E01 image is that clearly creating a E01 image is a lot slower than a DD. So how does the file system affect the speed? Well, in my test configuration, there's almost a four times speed difference between creating a DD to an NTFS versus a XFAT drive. Not so much of a difference for E01s, but definitely for a DD. These results surprise me that the file system of the destination drive made such a difference in speed. So I did the same test again with an iMac running the Paladin Forensics Distro and then wrote out to the same destination drive. The results are pretty similar in that writing out to an XFAT drive was much faster than writing out to an NTFS drive. Also creating an E01 is significantly slower than writing out DD files. 
Lastly, since I was baffled with these results, I took out the internal drive of the ASUS laptop and then used the Tableau TX1 to repeat these tests. From running the TX1, there was pretty much not much of a difference in speed for using a uh, NTFS drive versus the XFAT drive. There was also only a small difference between the speed of imaging using DD versus E01. So that's pretty much what I expected, but did not happen with the computers. So why is the TX1 so much faster at creating images? Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you liked this video, then you will probably enjoy this one. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.